What if I told you that the universe as we know it could be completely different? What if I told you that the universe as we know it could be completely different? Think of the most bizarre landscapes in the universe. Now, remove gravity from the equation. What do you see? It's a fascinating question, isn't it? Let's delve into the enigmatic world of gravity, a fundamental force that's surprisingly weaker than you might think. Gravity, as we know it, is the force that keeps us grounded, literally. It's the invisible hand that keeps planets in orbit, stars in their galaxies, and your morning coffee in its cup. But did you know that compared to other fundamental forces, gravity is the runt of the litter? Yes, indeed, the electromagnetic force which constructs the very atoms that make up everything around us is about one followed by 36 zeros times stronger than gravity. Imagine that. This brings us to the gravitational constant represented by the letter G. This universal constant approximates to 6.674 times 10 to the negative 11 Newton square meter per kilogram square. Now that may seem like an incredibly small number and that's because it is. This tiny constant contributes to gravity's relative weakness. But don't let its meekness fool you. Consider this, the acceleration due to gravity on Earth's surface is about 9.81 meters per second squared. But if you were to stand on the sun, not that we recommend it, the gravitational acceleration would rocket up to about 274 meters per second squared. That's because the sun's gravitational force is a whopping 28 times stronger than Earth's. It's all down to mass. The sun is about 333,000 times more massive than our home planet. So, you see, gravity, while weaker compared to its fundamental force siblings, plays an incredible role in the universe. It might not have the strength to influence the atomic or subatomic levels, but on the astronomical scale, it's the boss. Even though gravity seems weak when compared to other forces, it is the one that shapes our universe. Imagine a universe without it. What if we told you that the sun's gravitational force is 28 times stronger than Earth's? Shocking, isn't it? This is because the gravitational force is directly proportional to mass and the Sun is approximately 333,000 times more massive than Earth. Now let's talk about Newton's law of universal gravitation. This law states that the force between two objects is proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers. So what does this mean in simple terms? Well, it means that even a small increase in distance significantly reduces the gravitational pull. This is why astronauts feel weightless in space. They are far enough away from Earth that its gravitational pull is significantly weaker. It's not that gravity doesn't exist in space, it's just that it's much weaker than what we're used to on Earth. Now let's consider escape velocity. This is the speed needed to break free from a celestial body's gravitational pull. For Earth, it's about 11.2 kilometers per second. Yes, per second. So to leave Earth's gravitational pull, you would need to be traveling at a speed of 11.2 kilometers every second. Now let's imagine a spaceship trying to escape from the sun's gravitational pull. Remember, the sun's gravity is 28 times stronger than Earth's. So the spaceship would need to be going incredibly fast to escape. But it's not just about speed. The direction of the spaceship's movement is also crucial. If the spaceship is moving perpendicular to the sun, it will have a harder time escaping than if it were moving away from the sun. This is because the gravitational pull is strongest in the direction of the source of gravity. So as you can see, space travel isn't as simple as just going up. One must overcome a celestial body's gravitational pull, a feat easier said than done. Imagine a force so powerful that not even light can escape from it. Welcome to the enigma that is a black hole. Black holes, the very mention of which stir a sense of awe and mystery, are the ultimate manifestation of gravity's power. At the heart of a black hole lies an event horizon, a boundary beyond which nothing, not even light, can escape the pull of gravity. The gravity here is so powerful due to an incredibly high mass concentrated into an extremely tiny space. It's like trying to pack all the mass of the sun into a sphere with a diameter of just three kilometers. This immense concentration of mass results in a gravitational field so strong that it warps space-time, the very fabric of our universe. This warping is so extreme that it creates a hole in space-time, hence the term black hole. Now, let's talk about the Schwarzschild radius. This is a concept that's crucial to understanding the formation of black holes. 
Named after the German physicist Karl Schwarzschild, this formula calculates the radius of a black hole's event horizon. In simple terms, the Schwarzschild radius is the size a celestial body must be compressed to in order to become a black hole. Once a star is compressed beyond this limit, it effectively disappears from the universe, leaving behind only its gravity. So you can think of the Schwarzschild radius as the point of no return. The extreme effects of gravity within a black hole are so bizarre that they challenge our understanding of the universe. Inside a black hole, the laws of physics as we know them cease to apply. For instance, time itself behaves differently inside a black hole. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, the stronger the gravity, the slower time passes. So if you were to watch someone fall into a black hole from a safe distance, you'd see them slow down and eventually appear to stop at the event horizon while they would perceive themselves as falling in normally. Black holes, the ultimate manifestation of gravity's might, continue to baffle and amaze scientists. What secrets do they hold about our universe? Gravity, despite its weakness, has some surprising abilities. Did you know it can bend light? Let's delve into this fascinating phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. This is an effect predicted by none other than Albert Einstein in his general theory of relativity. It's a peculiar demonstration of gravity's power, where the mass of a large object, like a galaxy, distorts the fabric of space-time around it. This distortion bends the path of light traveling near it, causing the light to take a curved trajectory. It's as if the universe itself becomes a gigantic lens, bending and focusing light in unexpected ways. Now, why should we care about this? Well, gravitational lensing offers us a powerful tool to study the universe. It allows us to observe distant galaxies that would otherwise be too faint or obscured. It even lets us detect dark matter, that elusive substance that makes up about 85% of the universe's matter but doesn't interact with light or any other form of electromagnetic radiation. You see, even though dark matter is invisible, it still has mass and therefore gravity. Thus, it can bend light through gravitational lensing, giving us indirect evidence of its existence. This is how scientists are able to map the distribution of dark matter in the universe despite it being invisible to our telescopes. Now, let's shift our gaze to the celestial ballet that is orbital mechanics, guided by the unseen hand of gravity. This is where Kepler's laws of planetary motion come into play. These laws describe how planets move around the Sun in elliptical orbits, how their speed varies along these orbits, and how the time a planet takes to orbit the Sun is related to its average distance from the Sun. All of this is orchestrated by gravity. Without gravity, there would be no orbits, no planets circling the sun, no moons circling planets. The universe as we know it would be unrecognizable. Gravity, the silent puppeteer, choreographs the cosmic dance of celestial bodies and even bends light to its will. So we've seen the omnipotence of gravity. What would happen if it suddenly disappeared? Well, let's envisage this unthinkable scenario. Gravity, this subtle yet mighty force, is the celestial glue that holds our universe together. Without it, chaos would reign supreme in the cosmos. Our solar system, for instance, would go haywire. Planets no longer bound by the sun's gravitational pull would be flung out into the void, careening off into the infinite expanse. This would not only hold true for our solar system, but for every star system in every galaxy. Speaking of galaxies, without gravity, they too would disperse. The billions of stars within them, no longer held together, would scatter across the universe, turning galaxies into cosmic ghosts of their former selves. The very fabric of the cosmos would unravel, leaving a universe unrecognizable to us. A universe without gravity is a universe unrecognizable. Gravity, the unsung hero, ceaselessly shapes and maintains the cosmic order we know and love.